Everybody and welcome to today's headline brought to you by the fantastic folks over at Back Alley Pizza. Robert and Cheryl Palmer, you rock. Back Alley Pizza, best pizza in Kansas. Bar none. Bar none. Bar freaking none. Okay. All right, we're going to change it up this week. We're going to start with the headline because we have something special. Uh, unique items for sale at Layman's Antique Market. And we have one of these unique items in front of us right now. Yes. Do you want to introduce the, the uh, item? Bruce can try it. I'm not touching this thing. I'm not getting it. Uh, looks my like, fear I'll take it looks like it's team. out of a serial killer. Yeah, museum. I'm going to. I'm thinking it. See, I'll whatever possesses it, it can here. possess you now. There it is. Why in all its horrifying not? glory. <laughs> it's a <laughs> stuck sort of, I think, Easter Bunny. Wendy found it at Layman's. She wrote a story about all the weird stuff you can find at Layman's. Yeah, it is And we horrifying. do like going by across the street. We do this once every few weeks. We just walk through there. We almost bought a stun gun today. The stun bruise. Yeah, we're going to stun bruise. I him out. I, she pulled the trigger and it made oh a noise. I was like, yeah, no, I'm was, out. We're done. We're not doing. It. We're just gonna. We're just gonna skip drawn and just get on because I think this is a good subject. Yeah, this guy. He's he's not holding a carrot. It may look like a carrot. It's a bottle of carrot juice. <laughs> He's know. missing an eye. Yeah, I mean, he got in a fight thing. with Why like a possum. Why did you leave me, Billy? That, that is a hardened <laughs> rabbit. It's like He's the Velveteen Rabbit if it was written by Stephen <laughs> King. There it is. That's a good one. Um, but like, all right, weirdest antique then you've ever bought or touched outside of that rabbit. I mean, <laughs> nothing will beat that. That is horrible. Yeah, I, there's, gonna, there's I go to a lot of thrift stores. <laughs> I thrift. Oh, most really? This shirt. Yeah, I was about to say. As cool as it is, it's obviously thrifted. These pants? Thrifted, actually. Thrifted. Wow. These shoes do, are man. thrifted, but the socks under the shoes, if I could show them off. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. You bought <laughs> thrift socks? Yeah, dude. I mean, it's... Oh, wait. Let's talk about this. What are your rules? Like, oh, I don't do socks. Nothing that touches... Clo I, don't I don't do underwear do socks, socks. I don't do underwear. No. Or you think so? Think clean. It's Goodwill. Goodwill's clean. <laughs> I'm not getting it from some no buyer. See? I don't buy underwear. No, I have not bought underwear from a thrift store. Yeah. I have not bought underwear from a thrift store. <laughs> Let's put that on the record. Uh, yeah, no, me. I mean, I have quite a few clothes I've bought secondhand. I do too. I like finding stuff, yeah. but yeah, I draw the line on socks or underwear. Yeah. I don't know, stuff that has touched copious amounts of human sweat. Okay. I'm usually that's, like, no, that's no, no one. Concert t-shirts. These, these are cool, cool t-shirts. Cool yeah, yeah, they're cool socks. Party yeah. shirts. Yeah, uh, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of concert tees, a lot of... Record albums Bruce, are always good. Yeah. Yeah. Record yeah. albums. Record albums. Um, yeah. That's, that's fair. Yeah. And it's a short time to get there. Time each pounder, watch your band run. Keep your foot hard on the pedal. Some never mind them brakes. Let it all hang out, cause we gotta run to make. The boys are thirsty in Atlanta. And there's beer in Texarkana. And we'll bring it back no matter what it takes. 